Testing, testing. Toast. You may have heard some rumors that the Wild Brothers are already back from Brazil. Well, I am in my room, so the rumors are true, but I am wearing a Brazilian shirt, so something must have happened in between. Yes, we have gone to Brazil, and yes, we are back in America. What happened in between? That's what I'm here to tell you about. Let me catch you guys up to speed. My brothers and I are collaborating with The Chosen, a TV show about the life of Christ, to capture an amazing documentary in the country of Brazil. Because outside of America, The Chosen has had the biggest impact in Brazil. I was planning on just letting this episode roll on its own, but what I was not planning on was that the sweet phone that we had almost all of our Brazilian content on to get lost in the trip. You guys hear that? Lost. The phone that had no data plan, no iCloud backed up, no Find My app. Basically, this phone was just an empty phone that we used for social media, untrackable. I could probably get emotional if I wanted to just think about it. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. But that's not the point. Not all is lost because my brothers and I also had our personal phones, so we were able to get some pretty cool footage of that. So I'm going to be the one here to kind of connect the dots for you. I'm really good at connecting the dots. Just made it to Sao Paulo, Brazil. So because we're in Brazil now, our phones don't have any service. So we we're just talking about how we all need to sit together. If one of us gets lost, then we won't be able to just call each other and say, "Hey, where are you?" It's like Avatar. Wonderland. So where's the Avatar music? We got to our hotel and then got ready for a big day of exploration. I'm an old man, so I have to take my meds. Gotta have my medicine. But I was just sick, believe it or not, with um, strep throat, previously known as putrid throat. I am feeling much better now. Cheers. Agua mineral natural. <laughs> Batman Alley was our first stop. It was just basically this crowded alleyway that was just covered with all this amazing graffiti. Unfortunately, like I said, the footage is gone. Zero, Bubkiss, zilch. There's a lot of ways to say no footage. So we basically just have some pictures to show you guys and it's then it kind of looked like an Airbnb commercial or something like that. Right here in Sao Paulo, we just walked through the Batman Alley and I just found this little restroom and it's the most marked up little graffiti restroom I've ever seen. Oh, lights out. So Asher, what are we up to? This is my, my first international uh, drone shoot in a long time. This is Sao Paulo Cathedral. It's beautiful. It's the oldest and the largest church, Catholic church here in the city. Anyways, we're gonna launch the drone up and get some sick shots of the event that's what you're in the city. Super, super excited about this one. I had no idea that five minutes later I would not be so excited. Actually more like terrified. The drone lost signal and went black for about 30 seconds in the middle of Sao Paulo. Do you guys see any gray hairs or wrinkles? I got them that day. But it was all good. It actually worked out just fine. The signal popped back on and we got some sweet footage. But the big event that day was the red carpet event. This was legit. Yes, the sink. What about the show? Well, we had an amazing time in Sao Paulo. We still have a lot of questions I need answering. So now we have to go somewhere completely different. We're heading to find out the answer behind these big questions that we have. All right, we made it. We got all of our bad. Huh? You're saying it's way too loud, but I think you can still hear me. It sounds like a dying plesiosaurus. Of course, Morgan knows exactly what a dying plesiosaurus sounds like. Oh, guys, we gotta talk about the food. Oh, the food. Oh, it was delicious, strumptious, fabo, excelente. What are some other interesting words to describe how awesome it was? Hmm. I'm making pizza all day. I love Brazil. The best pizza and cheapest in town. They were so sweet to host us and um, share their pizza with us. Mm. Mm -hmm. You just, you just buy it 
Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that sounds like any other fruit I've ever tasted. Wow. We're about to have traditional acai. Acai? Acai. Yeah, acai. Which is a fruit, and so it goes through a machine and it's kind of like pulverized. You know, the US equivalent of like a frozen yogurt, maybe like an ice cream, because we have all kinds of fun little toppings that we put on top. Thank you. Then we attended another chosen screening, but this one was much more chill. We actually did at a local congregation there in Brazil. We're here in Baja, Brazil, and um, we're here at the church, and we're about to have a screening of uh, the chosen episodes one and two um, in Portuguese for the first time. The people here haven't seen them yet um, in their heart language, so it's super cool. There's a huge turnout. We're about to open up the doors of the church. We have a bunch of seats in there. Everything's ready. Um, um, soda's ready and all these little popcorns. And on the popcorn, they have all these little chosen stickers. Hey, pessoal, estamos aqui reunidos, organizando aqui, iniciar aqui o ensino com The Chosen. Minha primeira vez assistindo The Chosen foi uma experiência maravilhosa. Eu amei. Man, whirlwind trip, right? And that was just a little taste of the story. There was so much more. I know the question you guys are all asking. Did you guys get enough content for the documentary? <laughs> oh yeah. We are so excited to share what we captured in Brazil to not only the chosen team, but also the rest of the world. Thanks for being part of the journey with us. I'll see you guys next Friday. I think we're gonna have to get a little bit of Brazilian merch before we head back to America. Oh.